and he was on the team actually um, he was actually the, one of the the only foreigner that was actually getting time getting rostered he's a baller man i think it'll be really good for you to see his perspective on things also the difference between uh both of our routines and lifestyles with him being in brazil yeah right now i am waiting for the bus um but yeah i will i'll talk more about aaron later but uh i think you guys should see his morning routine now Hey guys, what's good? My name is Aaron Vasquez. I'm a friend of Pedro's and I played with him back in Uruguay. Right now, I'm in Brazil playing for a team called Rio Branco and we're in a league called the Copa Litoral and it's like a semi-professional amateur league and we're in season right now and we're actually in the playoffs in the second leg of the semifinals. I'm gonna take you guys through my training and my team training later and I'll just show you guys what I do in the day. Last, last, last. guys so today's workout is focusing on strength of hamstrings but to start off we're doing some abs so this exercise is really good because the range of motion allows you to hit all abs not just one group <laughs> So the next few exercises are the hamstring portion of the workout. All of these are isolating the hamstring in different ways. These exercises have been the biggest help in injury prevention for me personally. And just make sure when you do them, you don't cheat yourself, unless you won't be able to see the progress. Why you say I did not invite you when if I do anything you want me to do Somebody catch you, catch you I'm a white dog, I'm a fetish Why you say I did not invite you when if I do anything you want me to do Maybe another time, maybe another life You know why I don't get it right exercises are lighter and are geared towards injury prevention. If you want to see the workout in depth, check out my gym program, link in the description. Good 
this is how the cart's looking now. This is what we got. So finished the workout, pretty much finished with groceries. So I will see you guys back at the crib. All right guys, um, I'm out on the pitch right now. I'm about to get my first training session in. I'm by myself, so you know, there's only so much that you can do, but I'm gonna get some session in doing some fitness, uh, getting some touches on the ball and doing some positional work as well. Alright guys, so for this fitness drill, what I normally do is the first set I do 5 reps and then once I finish that, my second set I do 4 reps, once I finish that, the next set I do 3 set, three reps, sorry, and yeah, just, you guys get the gist. And for this drill, I just pass the ball off the wall as you guys can see and I control it. And there's no really set, you know, exercise I do. I just try and get used to the ball, get comfortable with the ball, controlling it with different parts of my foot. And yeah. And now for the positional part of my training, I receive the ball from my midfielder, which is Ruiz. I turn, um, dribble through some cones, and then I do a give and go with him to receive it on the other end. And I do this for both sides. So my right foot, or the right side, and the left side. Luckily I had Luis come out to help me today. Um, came clutch. And right now, I'm pretty tired, so. <clears throat> I'm just gonna rest before my next training because we're training in a different place today and the training will start at 2 and right now it's about 10 30 so we have some time to, to just chill and then just relax before my next training Alright guys, heading to the training right now. <laughs> it's 1.30, 1.35. We're changing the training pitch because on Sunday we're playing in a pitch that's smaller. So our team wants us to be more accustomed to playing on a smaller pitch so that we can be more prepared to play our semi-final game of our second leg on Sunday. And all I know is that when I come home, I'm asleep and I'm gonna relax. I am, I'm feeling a little tired right now. Somos dos dos mapas. All right, so for today's training, it was a lighter day. It was mostly possession, focusing on playing the third man and to score with the header. Enjoy.
Um, but I thought it was, uh, you know, I thought it was great, great day as always. I think it's good that you were able to see both of our days. Um, but Aaron's day is, is not finished yet, so I'm gonna let him handle the outro. But make sure if you want to see his full video, you go straight to his channel. So I'll plug that somewhere in the description. But other than that, I will show you the rest of Aaron's day. All right, guys, just got home. I'm so, so tired. I'm super hungry too, so I'm gonna get a snack downstairs, eat that, and then right now it's about 6, 6.30, so we have a good amount of the day to just relax and chill. And yeah, right now I'm just gonna go grab, I'm just gonna go grab a snack and then have dinner a little bit later. We're having a, we're having a discussion about mate versus terere. Cuál es mejor? Terere. She's a little bit, she's, she's a little bit crazy. She's a little bit crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. So yeah, I just got ready for bed, and that's pretty much my day. You know, a lot of the days are similar like this one. You know, I love it. I love the routine. And I love playing football, and I just love putting in the work. And you know, I've never done some collaboration like this before, but it's an honor to do it with Pedro. You know, he's my boy. We known each other last year, September as of last year. And it's funny too because looking back at what who we were and what we were going through last year compared to now is like entirely different. I wasn't getting playing time at all and I was really upset about that. And I know Pedro had some stuff that he was going through as well regarding life and football. And now looking at where we are now, like a lot of things have changed. Like last year I used to be upset when I wasn't called on the roster for the next match. But now I feel a type of way when I'm not in the starting 11. You know, it's like a huge shift in, in what I was expecting last year and what I was going through last year versus now. And with Pedro, I know he had his own problems with football and life, you know, but we all do. Looking, looking at where he is now, he's balling out in Spain, making a name for himself. I'm sure you guys can testify that he, he's doing well in Spain. And I'm sure none of us really expected where we would be until now. It's just funny, you know, how things turn out. You know, we both just kept going at it, working on ourselves and pushing ourselves day by day, taking it one step at a time, one day at a time. We trusted in ourselves, we trusted in God. And as Pedro used to say to me back then, walk by faith, not by fear.